What's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files, Elliot back again with a brand new TV review and today we're discussing the first episode of the brand new five part drama miniseries starring two incredible powerhouse actors. We're talking about scenes from a marriage which will be making its debut tonight on HBO. Got a chance to check it out early and I'm really excited to let you all know what I thought about this first episode and if you all should give it a watch all in this review. Before we break it all down, do me a favor and check out all my other social media accounts if you all are new to the channel. Well, welcome to the community. Consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. That way you can get the alert for when I drop new content. If you all enjoyed this review, well, make sure to like this video and share this video. It really helps out the channel a lot, but I also appreciate the support. And in those comments, let's talk about the show. Number one, have you heard of it? Was it on your radar? Were you excited for it? But more importantly, once you've seen this first episode, what'd you think about it? Let's talk about the structuring of the show, the pacing of the show, obviously the chemistry of our two characters. And this is a show about marriage but also a show about people, about relationships, about feelings. Let's talk about your feelings, your thoughts, and what you hope to see in this series and learn in this series in the comments below. So for me personally, if you all have been part of this journey, this community for a while, you know I love me some HBO, ladies and gentlemen. I cover a lot of HBO shows, whether it's horror, drama, comedy, action, you name it. I love a good HBO miniseries. So I was already circled on my calendar when I saw it. But then Oscar Isaac... Jessica Chastain, two incredibly beautiful people, as you all can see on the screen now. They made a bit of a, a splash at the Venice Film Festival red carpet. Very incredibly beautiful people, but more importantly, very talented individuals. Oscar Isaac, Jessica Chastain, a drama on HBO, sign me the hell up, and here we are discussing it. So what I, the way I want to kind of handle this first review of this first episode there may be mild spo spoilers. I won't really dive too deep into the minutia of everything, but I'm just going to give you my thoughts on some of the topics, the conversations that was had in this first episode, of course, the performances. And also, I want to know from you all, this is a show about relationships, and there's so many things that fascinate me about life, life, death, what comes after death, what's in space, what's in the sea, all that stuff. But relationships are very fascinating to me. Now, you know, full disclosure, I've never been married, but I've been in my fair share of relationships. I was in a 10 plus year relationship. So I, I can give you a little thing or two about what I think about the topics that the show has to bring. But more importantly, I just want to cover this show for you all. Talk about the show. If you're in a relationship, if you're single, if you're married, if you just dated someone for the very first time, let's talk about it. Because this is what the show is going to bring to the table. Authenticity, relationships, what makes people do the things they do in relationships. So let's talk about it. And that's really what I want to bring to this table in this first episode. So let's get into it. One of the first things that kind of, and also to just a little backstory on the show, this is an American remake of a 1973 Swedish miniseries brought to us, uh, a reimagining with these two actors. So let's get into it. First and foremost, one of the things I really enjoyed about this first episode was the opening shot, just to kind of let the audience know, hey, just to let you all know, these are actors. This is not real. <laughs> this is all fictional. But within that opening scene, I was immediately just brought into the pureness of these actors. What Jessica Chastain and, and uh, Oscar Isaac bring to the table, for just a little backstory, they're married, and this show is essentially just showing the highs and lows of marriage, the conversations within a relationship, the finding yourself, losing yourself, and also by what I've seen from the trailers, it looks like this marriage of, which we'll talk about here, of 10 plus years, may be slowly coming to an end. So just seeing Jessica Chastain open up the episode on her phone and just seeing her in the bathroom having a moment, right? And it's just like when you're in, and again, this is for anyone out there, but when you're in a relationship, you have these little isolated moments where you just got to take a breath, right? You got to separate yourself from the relationship. You got to put yourself in your little isolation, just kind of gather your thoughts because as we open up, and, and by the way, this first episode consists of literally four scenes. As we open up with this first scene here involving Jonathan, played by Oscar Isaac, and Mara, played by uh, the incredible Jessica Chastain, they're being interviewed, right? They're being kind of, it's it, Jonathan is a teacher, just a little backstory. He's a teacher. She works in the tech industry. They have a, a young girl and he invites over one of his students who's doing a project about the different dynamics within the relationship. And this is one of the first conversations I want to have with you all, which is the dynamic of the finances in a relationship. And when a, in this first episode, in this first scene, and, and not really diving too deep into it, but the conversation at hand is, when the woman is the breadwinner and the, the husband's the caretaker taking care of the child, taking care of the household, 
they say statistically the marriage tends to go on a more up the up, more on the positive note versus the other way around. The dynamic might be different. The man brings in the, the money, the wife brings in the, the caretaking, then the dynamics might not make its way through in the marriage. So that first scene, just hearing Oscar Isaac and hear Jonathan's mindset of how he sees a relationship but then hearing Mara not really speak up, right? And not really sharing her thoughts on the on the situation, her thoughts on the marriage, what it means to bring in the money, what it means to him being home with the child and maybe having more of a, a connection with the child. And just seeing first at that first scene, there's a there's a bit of a disconnect. Now they we get a little backstory. They've been together for 12 years, I believe Jonathan said, and they were dating for two years and they've been married for 10 years and just again seeing that dynamic and the thing that's so fascinating about this first episode is just how you can be in the same situation but have two completely different perspectives of how they see their relationship how Jonathan feels about relationships and feels about money being kind of the the determining factor of if the relationship successful or not and how he views that and how Mara views that and how they view childhood and how they view you know religion and things of that nature that kind of gets brought up within that first uh, opening sequence as well as how do you feel about being committed and being not in a you know a relationship where you're sleeping around and stuff of that nature so within that first scene I'm just like I love great dialogue. But more importantly, I love authenticity and pure chemistry on screen. Within that first scene, I'm like, oh, they're not married? <laughs> Which, by the way, Oscar Isaac and Jessica Chastain, they're, they're both separately in relationships. They, I believe they're both married. They have kids, and they're good friends off screen. But you couldn't tell me that based on this first episode. Just that first scene alone, I'm like, this is... This is, uh, they're married. They're, they're married within the show. It reminds me a lot of uh, A Marriage Story, which is one of my favorite films from a couple years ago. But transitioning into a couple other scenes here, as we go from this first interview here, we transition to a very interesting dinner date, which involves two different characters, uh, Corey Stahl and, his, and, and, and played by the actress Nicole Harhi, who I'm big fans of both actors. They're in a relationship and hearing their dynamic was just one of my favorite scenes of the episode because one of the things about relationships is what happens happens when when things don't go well what happens when there's not trust in relationship what happens when your partner gives up in a relationship and just seeing those two couple versus the couple that we're following this might be foreshadowing right when things aren't going well when things aren't connecting when there's kids involved and seeing the scene between Jessica Chastain and, and Nicole when they're upstairs and just talking about the where things went wrong and why there uh, there's some 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 affairs going on in that separate relationship and just seeing how that dynamic works out and see how the scene plays out too which I wonder you know I'm not going to spoil what happens in the scene between those two uh, individuals but it's interesting to see what happens next and if uh you know, Mary's going to tell Jonathan what happened that night. But even transitions from that conversation to see Corey Stoll and seeing Oscar Isaac talking about, again, commitment and what it means to be committed in a relationship was just so fascinating. And one of my favorite scenes of this first episode. But then we have our next scene, which boils down to bedroom bedtime talk, which, again, if you've been in a relationship and, and, and uh, you know, you live with your partner one of the most, you know, vulnerable moments or vulnerable places that you can have a, a conversation with your partner is in the bedroom, right? And that's where a lot of the, you know, uh, good things happen in the bedroom, but some, some interesting stuff can happen in the bedroom. Truth comes out in the bedroom. And this is where we see our, our couple who already has a kid. There's a conversation being had about potentially another kid getting into the mix and how that can change the dynamic of their current situation. And just the, the happiness, the fear, the panic of having a new child. They're both in their forties, I believe. And what that means to be a parent in your forties is something that's brought up and just say, uh, like I said, just a true and honest scene. Cause again, I've never been married, but I've been in a relationship where I was I lived with someone for over six years and just again the, the the different dynamics and conversations that could be had in the bedroom especially something like birth and bringing a, a, a child into the world was very fascinating but kind of wrapping up the last scene here and I won't really dive into this last scene because I'll dive into spoilers but again based on the previous scene we transitioned to a doctor's appointment and this is where my only criticism of this first episode there's an off-screen conversation that takes place before this final scene that I wish we could have seen because it's a very important conversation that we didn't get to see that led to this decision that I would have liked to see how they came to that decision. But no less the emotion in that scene from both actors, from both characters, one character 
wanting to go through through something and another character coming to the decision which they have every right to make that decision um to make and just seeing the emotion in the room and and seeing that this is going to be a riff in that scene this is where i think their relationship is going to take a little bit of a well not a little bit but a huge step backwards in regards to you know, I thought we were on the same page. I thought we want the same things and seeing that they're not on the same page. They don't want the same things. And I think this decision that was made in this final scene will be the 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 catalyst to their relationship dissolving, in my personal opinion. So again, I don't want to dive too deep into that final scene, but it was very, um, very impressive to see those two actors on screen and just seeing the last moment of who we opened the show with and who we closed the show with was very fascinating. So again, very cryptic. I didn't want to dive too deep into the spoilers. If you guys want to continue the conversation, diving deeper into the spoilers, we can talk about that in the comments. But one of my biggest questions I always like to pose to you all when it comes to watching a show, reviewing the first episode, non-spoilers, would you want me to come back to talk more about the episodes, more in depth, more of a conversation, more of the spoiler aspect? So let me know that in the comments. If you plan on watching this, uh, this series, is only five episodes, about an hour apiece, and do you want me to cover this on a week-to-week basis? I'm perfectly fine doing so because, again, I love talking stuff like this, relationships, dynamics, personality traits. Uh, you know, uh, what I perspective of what I think about this certain thing. This isn't a murder mystery. This isn't a show where it's just like, I wonder, is this, it's just like, we don't have to theorize. We could just have a human conversation about relationships. So that's what I would love to do, but it's all up to you all. So let me know if that's something you guys want to engage with and go on this journey with on a week to week basis. So overall, fantastic episode. I, I felt the pureness. I felt the chemistry, which is off the charts. I, I really want to explore more of these characters and see how that final scene plays into their relationship and where the relationship goes because I do think based on the trailer that they do inevitably decide to part ways but who knows love can defeat everything so maybe they find their way back together but that's only my thoughts on the first episode let me know your thoughts your positives your negatives your thoughts on the performances your thoughts on the conversations your input on if you're in a relationship if you've been in a relationship or if you're single just your thoughts on the show as a whole let's talk about it in the comment section if you all stuck around to this part of this video thank you so much if you haven't already make sure before you leave to like the video share the video hit that notification bell that way you don't miss any of my other content and oh yeah subscribe to the channel if you haven't already ready. Thank you all for watching this review. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you enjoyed the review and we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.